Maria Reynup. I'm one of the programmers of Black Nights Film Festival. Uh, we are here with filmmakers from Iran with the film Breath that is in our main competition. And it's the third feature film from a wonderful filmmaker right next to me, the director of the film. With us is also the main cast and the distributor of the film who also helps to translate a little bit here. So a little bit patience. Um, Iran is an incredible film when it comes to legacy of cinema. There's uh, so many wonderful filmmakers. It seems like the industry really blossoms. Uh, is it hard to come and become a filmmaker because there is already a whole, uh, whole uh, uh, lot of filmmakers before you or it's the other way around, it's very inspiring and it's uh, somehow a like, nest to become a filmmaker and it's easy. کشور سینماست و به صنعت سینما اونجا خیلی شکوفاست و استعدادهای زیادی هست و حالا این نه که چیزی است برای شما به عنوان یه فیلم ساز ممکن بخواد فیلم بسازید یا فیلم ساختن راحته و به حال اونجا خونه سینماست که به چیزی رو مثلا چه چالشایی داره تو ایران در واقع رقابت خیلی سخته برای اینکه خیلی فیلم سازای خوب داری که هر سال تعداد زیادی هم فیلم ساخته میشه و این یه خود رقابت رو سخت میکنه به خصوص برای خانم ها There is really a competition I should say because there are uh, a good number of very talented filmmakers and year by year there are newcomers who are young generation and they are uh, added to the previous generations and making very wonderful films so generally yeah, it is mm. quite difficult ولی تو سالهای اخیر به خانم ها اعتماد بیشتری شده و زنای فیلم سازی به هر حال تعدادشون بیشتر شده اونهایی که اومدن تو فضای حرفه‌ای تر سینمای حرفه‌ای دارن کار میکنن and this competition is a little bit more complicated for the female filmmakers uh, but fortunately the number of uh, women filmmakers are increasing and they could find their uh, situation in the Iranian film industry to make their own movies. Mm. And uh, talking of industry, how much of films are able to be financed by state or any kind of special funds? And how much there is actually independent production? People who take a camera and go out there and film, how does it divide? Um, <coughs> توسط دولت یا مؤسسات دولتی سرمایه گذاری میشه و چه بسیار مستقل حالا حتما آمارش رو میتونم بتونم بگم به نظرم میاد که بیشتر سینما دولتیه تو ایران این نظر منه برای اینکه حتی اگر جاهای خصوصی هم میان جلو سرمایه گذاری میکنن به نوعی وابسته به دولت هستن اینه که تعداد فیلم هایی که واقعا با سرمایه شخصی ساخته بشه خیلی کمه عمده سینما ایران در واقع سرمایه‌گذاری دولتیه. She believes that uh, <laughs> majority of Iranian productions are funded by state bodies and even those uh, private companies who are making and producing films somehow are related to the state uh, sources. But I should I would like to add my own opinion that Nowadays, uh, we are producing more than 200 feature films each year. And I believe, <laughs> sorry, majority <laughs> of these productions are independent and privately mm. uh, produced uh, films. Uh, maybe t uh, uh, taking a step back and going back to where all these wonderful filmmakers come from, how is it with uh, film school? For young uh, upcoming uh, generation, do they have a good place to study? I, s I know and I see that a lot of filmmakers are assistants to great directors for a long while and that is actually their film school. But is there a place to go and study? Also for actors actually. Now we have a few more times and we are talking about the film and 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 the film. بله ما مراکز مختلفی داریم توی ایران مثل سینمای جوان یا مثلا مؤسسه سوره که و شبیه این باز مؤسسات خصوصی هستند که تدریس کارگردانی میکنن فیلم سازی میکنن تعدادشون هم زیاده خود سینمای جوان در واقع شعبات توی شهرستان ها داره و ما خیلی 
بچه های با استعداد شهرستانی داشتیم که فیلمساز شدن و کارشون هم در سطح جهانی مطرح شده به خاطر کار سینمای جوان. Yes, there are uh, several film schools in Iran, and uh, apart from these uh, schools, there is an organization in Iran which is called Iranian Young Cinema Organization that they have branches in many, many cities, right, like 300, mm. 400 offices throughout the country. And all these offices are have special film courses for the young people, so you can imagine that each year there are a, a high number of newcomers coming to uh, the uh, filmmaking area. And for actors? Uh, خیلی هاشون البته جذب نمیشن بیشتر به استعدادشون بستگی داره که چقدر در واقع استعداد داشته باشن توی بازیگری ما اگه این استعداد وجود داشته باشه قطعا جذب گروه های سینما میشه Yes there are uh, film schools especially in the colleges and universities who have special courses for acting and apart from the, these film schools there are private institutes who are providing some specialized courses for actors, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the, all these graduates are coming to the film industry immediately, mm. so depending on their own talents, for instance. So okay. the grad, the, I cannot say all are uh, going to be active in the film industry, depending on their own ta talents. Mm -hmm. uh, you have an incredible background as a writer, and I have understood that you're actually a quite known writer. Uh, maybe you'll be a more elaborate how you started writing and how that turned into filmmaking. شما در واقع به عنوان نویسنده خب یه پیشینه خیلی قابل توجهی دارید خواستم راجع به این بحث بگم من قبل از اینکه اولین فیلم فیلمم بسازم حدود 25 تا داستان و رمان نوشته بودم که چاپ شده بود. Before making my very first film I was active as a novelist and writer. And uh, I already published 25 books, novels, and short, short story collections. Mm. لاک پشت ها پرواز لاک پشت ها پرواز میکنن کار بهمن قبادی ترغیب شدم به اینکه وارد فضا فیلم سازی بشم and i uh, remember i made my very first short film in 2004 and i quite well remember that i was very touched by the uh, film by بهمن قبادی the turtles can fly mm. so after watching that film i decided i should make a movie و ساخت ده فیلم مستند و داستانی کوتاه رو در کارنامه خودم داشتم که در واقع چهار سال پیش اولین فیلم سینمایی خودم رو ساختم. So I made about 10 short films and documentaries before uh, making my first feature film which, uh, which was about four years ago. Uh, an open question, but where do you find all this inspiration and source? 25 novels is uh, a lot. میگه که در واقع این خب 25 کتاب خیلی تعداد قابل توجهی یعنی پس این در واقع منبع الهام شما چی بوده این همه تو این کتاب uh, uh, خب من از خیلی سن در واقع جوانی uh, ابتدای سالهای جوانی کارای من چاپ میشد و uh, الهام من از در واقع جامعه متن جامعه مردم uh, و uh, تمام تجربیاتی که داشتم بوده uh, حتی uh, تا الان دو تا از کارهای سینمایی اقتباس از کتابهای خودمه uh, yeah of course i was deeply involved with my own society and my own people they were my main source of inspirations and uh, my books published when i was quite young so in, and i should also tell you that uh, two of my feature films already uh, been adapted uh, on based on my own novels. Uh, 
where this idea of a breath is very unique, uh, it mixtures a very grown up topic to a viewpoint of a child, somehow layering that there is a somehow a wa veil on it, but yet letting us somehow close to a very dramatic part of history in Iran. This, where this idea has uh, come to your head in the very first, and how did it develop into the film? In uh, Brits is based on my own novel again and in this book and in this movie I tried my best to create a world uh, through a uh, child eye. و در واقع توی کتاب دختر بچه که داستان رو روایت میکنه تخیلات و فانتزی هایی داره که من میخواستم اینو تبدیل کنم وقتی میخواستم فیلم نامش رو بنویسم باید این به زبان تصویر تبدیل میشد and we can see that uh, in that book uh, this young girl has her own world her own imagination and it was quite challenging to actually shift this uh, fantastic and imagery wor uh, imaginative world into the language of cinema. و می‌خواستم این پرداختم به این فانتزی‌ها خیلی متفاوت باشه با مثلا سینمای هالیوود یه دفعه یک تجربه انیمیشن مثلا 3D سه بعدی و اینها نداشته باشیم دلم خواست خیلی ساده‌تر برگزار بشه. And I did uh, care of this uh, fantasy world of the young girl, not to be similar to s somehow to some Hollywood production that in which we can see the imagination through some very high-tech uh, 3D uh, animations. No, I, I tried my best to make it as much simple as possible. به خاطر همین سعی کردیم که نزدیک بشیم چون که شخصیت داستانمون هم عاشق نقاشی کردنه و آرزوش اینه که نقاشیشو تلویزیون نشون بده پس ما سعی کردیم به نقاشی های کودکان نزدیک بشیم و کارمون رو نزدیک بکنیم فانتزی ها و تخیلات دختر بچه رو به پرسپکتیو نقاشی های کودکان so as this young girl and our hero is uh, a painter so we did our best to uh, approach to this uh, painting world of this young girl uh, it's uh, quite rare for feature films to mix together live action and animation around the world. And to see that coming from Iran, I was uh, very positively surprised. Uh, is it hard to find uh, good animators to work with? Or uh, it's also blossoming with a lot of uh, talent? I think that in any case, this is a very small scale of the cinema world, which is the real issue with animation. و حالا دور سوالشون این است که حالا اون بخش انیمیشن فیلم رو چطور مثلا فکر کرده اگه تو اون بخش هم استعدادای خیلی خوبی هست تو سینما ایران بله ما تو بخش انیمیشن تو سالهای اخیر خیلی پیشرفت خوبی داشتیم و انیمیشن ها خیلی توی سطح جهان جشنواره های خارجی مطرح شده yeah, fortunately, there is a first is a very good uh, tradition of uh, animation cinema in Iran from the past, and in the past few years we have seen there is a blossoming of uh, young animators, and their films are very well received in the world film festival. <laughs> رئالیسم در واقع خیلی رئالیستی ساخته شده و خیلی حتی به سینمای مستند نزدیکه. Um, most part of, our, of my film and stories are very realistic and somehow similar to even documentary cinema. و در واقع من خواستم یک تضاد بین این بخش انیمیشن و اون بخش در واقع رئال فیلم ایجاد بشه. And I try to create somehow a contradiction between this realistic world and animation part. 
I must ask about the little actress. It's an incredible find. You absolutely uh, fall in love. This is uh, one of the most uh, wonderful, cute actors. She feels so real. Was that a long casting process and you knew exactly what you're looking for or you somehow magically found her? راجب بازیگر کودک سوال میکنن که خیلی فوق العاده است کارش و سوالشون این است که چطور در واقع اینو پیداش کردید آیا مثلا حالا بگو بفرمایید ام ما بچه های خیلی زیادی رو دیدیم مدارس خیلی زیادی رفتیم بچه ها رو تست کردیم و تقریبا بچه هایی که اومدن دفتر ما تست گرفتیم و مدارس گرفتیم حدود 2000 بچه رو من دیدم had uh, visited many schools and we uh, actually saw many uh, students, young girls, and we even had an, uh, something like an auction. And there were many children coming to our uh, production office and we tested all. Sarah, the name of the actress here, was among the very first uh, young girls that I saw, but I didn't uh, got her at the first. Because she was not that much collaborative at all. But she was that much collaborative at all. صحنه اون سکانس رو به شدت باور می‌کرد این ویژگیش بود که از دیگران متمایزش می‌کرد but the main issue and the main characteristic of Sara was that she did believe what in what he, she was doing so she did a great job in order to depict what she believed uh, there's a particular moment in the film where the grandmother pulls her from the hair and the way she squeals it really feels like it's done real but I don't want to believe it happened real. How did you make this uh, expression <laughs> come off the screen, really, that goes through your uh, skin and bones? Uh, <laughs> خیلی حرکت های ریز تو بازیش داشت و اینها خیلی ناخودآگاه بود یعنی سعی نمی کرد بازی کنه بلکه توی اون صحنه در واقع زندگی می کرد و اون صحنه رو کاملا باور می کرد به این دلیل اون سکانسی که داره مادر بزرگ معاش شروع میکنه انقدر باور پذیر در اومده یا صحنه هایی که کتک میخوره یا معلم قرآن در واقع باهاش بدرفتاری میکنه اون حرکات ریزش هم که همیشه باهاش بود و طبیعی بود تو وجودش اونا هم کمک کرد که خیلی بازیش باورپذیرتر به نظر میاد quite unconsciously uh, she was actually uh, deliberating all details and she was not trying to act she was trying to live with that uh, events and stories and uh, it is why that when she could believe what she's doing it's quite uh, uh, seems very natural for instance the scene with the mother uh, the grandmother when she was tumbling her or uh, at the school when she's kicked by the teacher or even there is another session that it was a Quran uh, teaching session and that with a dog yeah yeah mm. uh, a question to our, our wonderful uh, father character here. You are uh, throughout the film almost goofy, very uh, funny, very warm, and it creates this kind of a sadness to the fact that uh, any grown up kind of realizes from the beginning of the film that most likely you won't uh, survive. So it, it makes this contradiction and it makes you kind of fall in love with the father. Uh, how are you in real life? <laughs> is the, is it was it hard to play the character or you're actually the same, very, very lovely with the children and always making a little joke. I have a question about my father, who is a very good person and a very good person in this world. He has a very good and a very good person in this world. He has a very good person in this world. I was a father of my father. 
<laughs> do you like that I could be your your father? Y yes. Ah, man, father of a daughter, I'm the name of Baran, and father of my own, with me and other siblings that he had, he did the same. I know many siblings in Iran that, for example, in the past, who have been very fond of them and who have been very fond of them, who have been very fond of them. درسته که زیاد بغلشون نمیکنن شاید اما خیلی باشون مهربونن و پدرای دوست داشتنی هستن. Yeah, it's coming uh, through my own experience because firstly I myself have a daughter Baran that more or less I have the same similar word with her uh, or even my own father that had the same <coughs> and she he was treating me as and the other brothers and sisters exactly like this. And I know many fathers in Iran who are more or less uh, treating uh, this and uh, maybe they are not, for instance, very overtly hugging uh, their children, but they are uh, involved in such a special uh, world with their children. Uh, working with uh, children sometimes can be quite frustrating. You have limited hours uh, on the set and it's quite uh, complicated. But uh, how did the production uh, go for you? Was it hard or was it beautifully easy with the, with the main actors and the rest of the brothers and sisters? میگم که در واقع کار با بچه ها به حال تو صحنه محدودیت های خودش رو داره و حالا به خصوص خب مثلا با وجود شرایط اقتصادی اینجا میگن که به حال حتی ساعت های محدودی میتونیم باشون کار کنیم و کار کردن با این دختر و بچه های دیگه چطور بود؟ خیلی شیرین و خیلی سخت ما خارج از فیلم هم تبدیل شده بودیم به یک خانواده یعنی اونا واقعا من و بابا قفور صدا می زدن حالا بگیم actually the, it was very sweet and in the meantime very challenging and difficult and we turned to be uh, like a family all together throughout the shooting and production and even they all were calling me uh, dad and that قفور دادی آره چون اختزای این این نوع از فیلم ها که خیلی رئالیستیکه و مستند اون است این جوریه که باید پشت دوربین هم اون آدم هایی که با هم دیگه در واقع روابطی دارن خیلی خودشون اول باور بکنن و روابط بعد اون وقت جلوی دوربین قابل باور و قانع کننده خواهد بود برای مخاطب and this is the very necessity of these kind of movies mm -hmm. which are very realistic and similar to documentary cinema that you should have such a connection with all these young uh, people that uh, the audience would believe you mm. that this is uh, believable and convincing. I like that uh, throughout the film uh, you start to feel a little bit like uh, little Noor because the grandmother is so terrifying. Uh, does it, uh, do you in real life still live with terrifying grandmothers? Oh, you mean the children? Uh, no, the father. Having your uh, oh. mother kind of bossing mm, you no around no. and ma being the evil witch, <laughs> good one in the house. شخصیت مادر بزرگ صحبت میکنم که به حال خود ترسناکه و میگم که حالا خود شما شاید مثلا تجربه شبیه این داشتید که مثلا با یه مادر بزرگ این شکلی نه لزوما من کارم بازیگریه من باید شخصیت های جدیدی رو که شاید اصلا هیچ تجربه ای هم روشون نداشته باشم رو در واقع تحقیق بکنم راجع بهشون و روابطی رو کشف کنم و از طریق اون روابط بتونم نقش هایی رو بازی بکنم که تالا شاید اصلا تجربه نداشته باشم مثلا اصل بازیگری هم قاعدتا همینه No, it's not coming from my own experience because uh, well, I am an actor and I should uh, discover these words and uh, I should uh, actually discover these relations and then I would be able to portray and depict these characters. زمین این که توی میهن من توی ایران این جور خانم ها ترسناک نیستن بیشتر یک مهربانی ذاتی دارن که همراه میشه بعضی وقتا با خشونت هایی و بیشتر با نمکن تا <laughs> تا اینکه ترسناک مورور آی وود لایک تو اد دت این مای کانتری نات اول دیز پیپل آر تریفاینگ 
it seems to be terrifying at first, but they are actually sweet by heart. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's just that the perspective of a child and the grandmother always with the calm somewhere ready. <laughs> uh, I very much and liked it. I would like to say that the woman who plays the young girl is a And I would like to add that the, the actress who is playing the, the role of the grandma, she's just 37. Yeah. So she I, I, when I found out, it was incredible. Yeah. She's a great <laughs> actress also. Um, Gunargas, you are all the time, I think, uh, cooking something in your head. <coughs> so much creativity is coming out of you. What's your next plan? Okay. <coughs> برای این کتاب خیلی کار سختی بود و خیلی انرژی گرفت از من ولی برای سوژه بعدیم در واقع به یک کار اجتماعی فکر می‌کنم با یه موضوع اجتماعی This was quite very challenging and difficult production and uh, because it was as I told you it was based on a novel I had to work a lot in order to find the right word and images for this novel. But now for the next, next project, uh, I'm thinking of a social drama. Uh, she would like to add some more about uh, briefs, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Hamutur ke didit nafas yek bakhshi از مهمترین تاریخ کشور ما رو داره روایت میکنه که توش دو تا اتفاق خیلی خیلی مهم میفته انقلاب و جنگ و ما سعی کردیم که از دریچه چشم یک بچه کاملا بدون قضاوت به موضوع انقلاب و جنگ نگاه بکنیم بهار در فیلم نفس تخیل میکنه آرزو داره و هیچ کدوم از رنج هایی که میکشه و سختی هایی که تو زندگیش هست جلوی تخیلش رو نمیگیره. بهار this character has her own world, her own imagination and also uh, she does not have an easy life. She's quite a lady. Uh, but she's still trying to make her own uh, fantasies in order to pass over some all these problems. Uh, و در واقع فیلم نفس در تقدیس تخیل تخیلی که تو دنیای امروزه به خاطر قلبه رسانه های مجازی اینترنت داره از بین میره یا کم میشه and maybe i should tell you that bris is somehow a tribute to imagination imagination which is uh, step by step is lost because of the all these new social و در واقع بهار با تخیلاتش رنجهای دنیا رو برای خودش هموار میکنه و چیزی مانع اون نمیشه و تنها چیزی که جلوی اونو میگیره و بازدارنده است و آرزوها و تخیلات اون رو پایان میده جنگه Uh, issue which is actually restricting her and stopping her is the war. And we uh, depicted the war that how come this uh, tragedy could be destructive. Great addition. Uh, do you also have something to add? Thank you. Thank you.
Um, nothing special, and I should just uh, uh, say that I'm very happy that uh, BRIS has been selected here for Tallinn Black Napkin Festival as the international premier. And main competition. <laughs> uh, do we have questions? We did a long round. I think we have kind of touched a little bit this and that. I think the filmmakers will be here for a little bit. So if you want to grab them and still have a question, then we'll be here. But thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you here in Tallinn. And uh, good luck for a wonderful premiere tonight. Thank, thank you. you so much. My pleasure.